hey guys what's up so from today i'm going to start one selenium interview question sensor series and you know what i have seen is a lot of people they are very good in selenium but you know when they go for interview they are not able to answer few questions which you know or which you might not be knowing that or which you might get confused when interviewer will ask you the questions you might get confused right so i'll make a series i'll cover each and every interview questions answers of the selenium right and even i will cover all the supporting uh, third party tools which is supported by selenium right so from today i'm starting uh, the selenium series interview questions and answers and before to start this is brief about me i have my facebook page and i have my youtube channel so you can subscribe my channel and like my facebook page so that you will have access to all my videos and uh, your all source code will be uploaded to your github locations right so you can get the source code from there right so let me start with the series okay so this is the first series where i have only theoretical questions and these are the very important questions people will ask you what is selenium so you can say that selenium is a ui automation tool which will help us to automate the ui right when we say ui means user interface selenium will not support desktop applications right so that would be answer for that right so it's like ui automation tool which will help us to automate the functionality of the ui does selenium support automations of pages made in php and html sometimes people they do ask just to confuse you say that selenium is independent of the language it's not depends on the language like in which language uh, in which uh, a script you have designed your page it does not matter right we can automate any pages made in any language does selenium support automations of applications made in only java no the answer is no selenium can support application for automations which is made in any language you can say that java c sharp c plus plus any language does selenium support desktop applications automations answer is no selenium will not support desktop application automation does selenium has execution engine what does mean by that like the interviewer is trying to ask you does selenium has the execution engine which means does selenium can execute their script their own answer is no because for the execution of selenium scripts we have to rely on third party tool we either we use testng junit or sometimes we can use java main method but usually we don't prefer to use java main method why because we we will not get a report as well as a lot of test ng feature which we cannot avail when we use java main method so say that no selenium has no execution engine we have to use third party either test ng or junit does selenium has excel reading methods no selenium api has no excel reading methods so for selenium uh, in selenium let's say you want to take a data from the external source either maybe properties file or excel file you need to you need to use for excel file you need to use apache poi or jxl the the very famous is apache poi and it's very easy to use and for properties file you have to use properties classes right so selenium has no method which will directly read the data from either properties file or excel sheet right it has no what is the components of selenium like how many components selenium has so selenium mainly has three components selenium id selenium rc and selenium web driver so selenium rc is deprecated long long back selenium id uh, we rarely use right because it's just a record and play but selenium web driver is very powerful and which is the latest one and currently 3.0 series 3.0 i mean 3 dot series is going on in the market right so what are the limitations of selenium so i have just you know these questions i have given the answer here itself so the limitations of selenium people will ask you what are the limitations of selenium the limitations what i will say is it supports only web based applications it will not support window based that is one uh, limitations you cannot do mobile testing through selenium directly either you have to use apm integration with selenium yes you can do that because in selenium we have something called android driver through that we can do mobile testing but directly we don't have facility to test the mobile applications right we have to again integrate with some third party cache so captcha actually captcha and barcode readers is not supported by selenium so let's say uh, some of the applications when we do registration it has a captcha that we cannot read through selenium and it is not supported by selenium right 
for reporting purpose yes we cannot rely on selenium i mean you can say that we don't have facility either we have to depends on the test ng or j unit for reporting purpose or we can use some third party reporting like extent report and any uh, accessibility report that is all third party so we have to rely on some other third party tool as a selenium since it is a free tool it's a open source so you'll get very less support whenever you will encounter any issue or any exception any configuration issue uh, you will get very less support because it's open source so you will you will hardly find a support you have to you know you have to debug you have to do r and d and you need to find out the solution since it is a open source what are the different types of locators in selenium so there are a lot of ways to locate the element in selenium we call it as a id class name name tag name link test partial link test xpath and css selectors so these are the selectors which we use to locate the element on the ui in case of selenium what is selenium grid so selenium grid will help us to distribute the load from one system to other system let's say in your company let's say if you want to execute a, a test script in two different system and you want to trigger from your your own system yes you can achieve through selenium grid selenium grid will help you to trigger the test same time in two different system in two different browser that depends on the configurations right so i mean you can say that selenium grid will help us to do a parallel testing as well as we can distribute the load in other other system right we can make one system as a master system and we can configure the slave system the slave system is nothing but your nodes and master system is nothing but your hub so your hub can direct your node system which script where should be executed on which browser right so these are these are the questions theoretical questions you can expect in the interview and this is series one so thank you guys thank you for watching this i'll be continuing with the series and this will keep on going and it will be uploaded to my channel which usually i share the link on my very first slide uh, you can go to my playlist and you can look for this thank you guys thank you for watching that